Hey everybody, this is Ani. I'm sitting here talking to Matt Schuler. Hey, what up, Ani? How are you doing? I'm doing really well. I'm doing really well. Just got off the stage um, at uh, the U.S. Dream Academy, their um, their gala event. It's it's been a really really awesome ride. You know, I've been here for like one day. Got to meet like 60 plus amazing kids. You know, and getting being able to, <laughs> to to sing and dance with them. It was it was definitely an honor. And so. How do you feel being here in D.C.? You're from Philly. Yeah, it's awesome. I mean, my mom's is called Chocolate City, so it's, it's been cool. Like, D.C., we got to, like, ride through the town a little bit. We got here pretty early, um, and uh, we just got to chill and relax and got to, you know, see a little bit of the city. I've only been here a few times, but, I mean, D.C. is beautiful. This is where everything happens, you know? Like, what, the president is here? Like, well, he's in Europe now, I think. Right, he's yeah. not of the country. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is where all the big decisions are made, you know, so it's, it's, it's cool to be here. It's been so cool sitting here talking to you. You're a very inspirational guy. So tell me, what was it like, your ride on The Voice and your opportunities oh, now? Man. What's going on? Yeah, my ride on The Voice, it was nothing short of amazing. You know, I mean, I was so blessed. You know, even to make it past the, like, the first you know, open call. I went to New York, the Javits Convention Center. There was about 10,000 people there that, that weekend. I made it through to the callbacks and the executive callbacks and then finally to the blind auditions. And then... You know, all the people who, like, didn't get any chair turns, like, I was blessed enough to get a four chair turns. Like, it's ridiculous. It's, like, one of the biggest honors on the show to get, and I was just, like, floored. And then, you know, to make it to the top six, like, it's, it was just, it was an amazing ride. I got so much experience. I mean, like, singing in front of 18 million people live every week, like, what, you can't buy that type of stuff. Like, that's, that's, right. that's priceless experience. So, right. So, you know, it's, it's definitely, you know, just catapulted me. Like, America has been watching me and stuff and you can pull me up on YouTube you can Google my name now like Amazing, it's wild right? you know so you know being on that show it's, it's totally giving me you know uh, a leg up on the competition a little bit for people who are just you know starting out and they haven't you know had that type of exposure so I'm definitely trying to use it to my advantage and it, it's definitely been it's been serving me very well you know over the past you know few weeks post show and um like what I've been doing a lot of corporate events I've been to Las Vegas I've been you know actually <laughs> right, at, right after this year like twice actually one for um for uh, the Pac-12, I sing a halftime show there for uh, during March Madness, and then um, for uh, the U.S. Rugby tournament, like the like the World Cup series, all that stuff. I went to Jamaica right after the show. Before, Jamaica, like, you're a world awesome, traveler now. It's been crazy. No, it's it's been really really cool. I got with Shaggy. You know, I actually have a song out with Shaggy right now called Really? Lovely. Yeah, it's a single on iTunes right now. But um, he's the man. You know, he's so cool, he's very so talented. down to earth. Like. They just welcomed my family, treated us like royalty when we were down there. It was it was awesome. We were there for um for a benefit concert for uh, okay. the Bustamante Children's Hospital. Um, oh, cool. And so we raised a whole bunch of money for them. It's it's like the best hospital in the Caribbean in the Caribbean right now. Like the most like state of the art advanced. It's like it could rival some of our hospitals here in the states actually. Like, there awesome. are some wonderful yeah. hospitals out there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, tell me, so what is the future now? You talked about uh, creative arts agency. Uh, what what what's the plan? Yeah, I mean, I'm really trying to get into anything I can get my hands on. You know, I really want to. I want to be a well-rounded, you know, musician, artist, actor. You know, whatever whatever opportunities present themselves to me. You know, I definitely want to want to weigh my options. You know, and have options to weigh. You know, I don't want to close any doors too early. I don't want to burn any bridges. So I've definitely been, you know, just scoping out. I've got an awesome manager, dude's from South Africa. He's the man. He's been Shout your manager with, uh, out. For real, Yaku, Yaku Buyens. He's, he's the right. man. He's been, um, he's been working with a, with an AMTC, this agency called Actors, Models, and Talent for Christ. Oh, and, cool. Uh, and dude, he's he's the man. He was actually working in um, at Sony for a little bit, you know, and he's like he's <laughs> he's been in the industry for a while, so he knows this stuff. You know, we've just been, you know, working on. You know, A and R is working on you know mm-hmm. developing you know my brand as an artist. You know, because that's the most important thing. Like, people like they want to claim you. They want to you know, I don't know. Like, you're putting out a product. You know, and people you know they want to take ownership of it. They need to know what they're taking ownership of. You know, so you gotta be clear about your vision, clear about your image. You know, all that stuff that that you want people to see. What you want people to know you by. You know, so we've been working on all that and a lot of songwriting. What is the key point of your brand? Now, I, I had yeah. another question, but I yeah. want to know what is your brand going to be? <laughs> You're so charming. So yeah, what is it? Like, charming. what will you sell yeah. America, yeah. the world on? I guess it's actually got a lot to do with, with this gala, like dreaming big. You know, I want, I want to enhance the imagination of America. You know, I feel like we, we've, we've become too complacent, you know, in, in, in just the things that that we, you know, we put on pedestals and everything. I want to, like, I don't know, create stories and, you know, sing about, you know, I don't know, more things than just the stuff that you hear on the radio. Like, not bashing anyone. Like, everyone right. got their lanes and everything. Mm-hmm, and, it's, mm-hmm. and it's awesome. 
but I mean, I don't, I don't know. I feel like I've been called to something different. You know, well, I want to be a storyteller. Did you dream know. big as a kid? I guess so. I mean, I'm, I'm here now, so yeah. I, when, when I was a kid, I guess. Well, no, even now, like I was always a huge daydream. Like, I'd always just be thinking, you know having these random thoughts and they would go on like on these crazy tangents in the middle of classes and stuff really and so it was that's a real daydreamer yeah. right yeah, there no it was crazy but i don't know i i guess i've always been a dreamer so. and so then what would you tell your fans to dream no definitely and don't i mean like try and think outside the box you know oh okay I, I feel like i've always been i don't know i can be kind of weird but like i feel like I, I definitely don't think you know like other people do think uh, but I don't know. I, I definitely want to. I take ownership of it. You know. I know that, that I'm different. And, you know. I'm I'm unique. And I think that everyone everyone is is fearfully and wonderfully made. You know. And everyone has their, that's deep has their differences. You know. And we so should, is Christ you know, first for you? He is absolutely first. Number one. Testify. Oh no. Let's go. Okay. Nah, I mean, I wouldn't I wouldn't be alive <laughs> if it wasn't for him. You know. For real. That's for amazing. Nice. What yeah. an awesome story. Yeah. So any words of caution for those that want to get on The Voice, those that want to yeah. challenge the world with their yeah, yeah, yeah. music, what would you say? I would say pray a lot. Um, but sure. definitely, um, I don't know, don't, don't be upset if someone tells you no. <laughs> like, you know, like, just, just keep going, you know? Like, can stay true to yourself at all times, you know? And... And have fun with it. Like, I mean, there's definitely been, been doors that have been closed, you know, towards me. But, I mean, you can't let it get you down. You gotta just get up and keep going, you know? Right. Just, I gotcha. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then the last thing, how can your fans find you? Social yeah. media. Uh, social media, you can follow me on, uh, on Twitter at Matthew Schuler underscore. Uh, my last name is S-C-H-U-L-E-R. And, okay. Um, and on uh, Instagram, it's like an old nickname, like when I played football, like rugby and stuff. And they was going, yo, Schuler. And so I like made that my Instagram. It's it's like Schuler with four U's. So like S. Oh, a lot of U's. U, okay. U, U, four U, U's, everybody. L E R. So, you know, That's cute. And then um, my website is MatthewSchulerOfficial.com. All right. Well, everybody, you heard it first from Matthew Schuler. So is it Matt or Matthew? What do you like? Or is it Schuler? <laughs> Not that I say you that right. It, go, <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, everybody, this was Matt Schuler, and he's checking in from the Dream Academy Gala with Wendley Phipps, 2014. And where you headed next? Uh, next, next stop. You got a big Actually, itinerary? I've um, well, I've got a show in, in Philly. I just did a show at the Hard Rock Cafe in the city. But I'll be a part of the uh, the 4th of July celebration, the party on the parkway. So it's going to be awesome. They've got, a, what, I think the Roots are going to be, the house band for all the That's sick. Ariana Grande is going to be there. Ed Sheeran is going to be there. Show up and show yeah, out. Yeah, for real. It's going to be really, really cool. So all right. Like June 28th through July 4th. June 28th. Check them out in Philly. Hey. All right. That's, That's what's up. That's so cool.